Hello, hello. What is up, my fellow English language learners? It's me, I'm here. And I'd like to talk a little bit to myself and to you, obviously. So, well, it's been a while since I made my last video. Uh, and after that, I actually uh, was making some efforts. I tried to make more videos. I had a lot of ideas. I wanted to tell so much. But I don't know. Somehow I just has no... no enough inspiration to do this finally maybe today this is uh, maybe today is gonna be the day when I will make a new video because you know what every time I'm watching YouTube videos from other people I'm just getting inspired inspired and I'm just thinking I can do this as well and this is uh, this is going to be very useful for me and maybe for you. Okay, so today I take actually the same path that I was that I took last time. So I'm kind of in a sort of rural area in the fields. What is this? Is it? Oh. It is a corn field. I even can steal some corn here, I guess. But I don't want to do this. Because you know, I'm just an honest guy. I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing things from people. So what? My path does not look great, it's dirty and wet. Oh shit, some birds here. I don't know, but at least this is much better than a noisy road with cars. I hope there is no animals. Because you know, I wouldn't like to encounter some scary animals but what type of animals I could meet here wolves oh no 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 I don't want to meet any wolves or something So what's what's the new in my life? Actually, since that time, since that day when I when I made that video, nothing actually has happened to me. Nothing good and nothing bad. I'm still in Poland. Uh, I didn't uh, didn't finish my my things that I had to finish with my documents I didn't do this for some reason and that is bad but you know what there is also some good news because now I finally applied for a visa to Canada now I'm waiting for decision just yesterday I Mm. what the word I, I have taken I took yesterday I took my not I took they took my uh, bio data or something they my fingerprints they took my fingerprints and photo uh, this is was for Canadian visa 
And now I'm just waiting for the decision. I don't know, I'm not sure for now if I will go to Canada or I will not. Do I care about this? Yes, I do. I really care because I want, I want to go to country of my dream. Sweet, sweet Canada. I love Canada. What can I say about Poland? Do I love Poland? You know what, guys? I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't say that I love Poland. Why? Okay, let me try to explain. I'm actually, uh, I actually feel here like at home, but not in a good way, like at home, but rather in a bad way. So I mean, like uh, I would uh, prefer to escape from here as soon as possible. This is the feeling that I have being at home okay so this is the way how i'm feeling at home here where am i going i don't know okay Do I have to go just right there or to there? I don't know. If I want to talk to you, to the camera, I should go that way, just straight ahead. And that's what I'm gonna do. Despite, I can say that I'm really comfortable walking here. You know what? It is, you know, such abundant place. Oh, I see already see cars. Maybe I have to stop somewhere here and to make this video a little bit more, like, more cool, more, more great. Okay, what, what, what have I learned recently? Speaking about language learning, as you may remember, this is one of my passions in my, in my life, learning languages, especially, uh, especially English, because this is my very, very, very favorite language I'm still learning it and I have some troubles oh, not the troubles I have some like what is this hole what the hell is that I don't know okay I would like to have a seat somewhere here. Oh, shit. Okay, let's find a better place to have a seat. So, where was I? Where was I? So every time I'm watching some uh, video from other people, especially from people who could 
did learn English by themselves and every time I realize uh, how much they are better than me uh, at English, at speaking, at expressing their thoughts. Every time I notice this, I don't feel good, you know? Because I feel a little bit sad because because that this is how I would like how how good I would like to be at English so I'm kind of jealous a little bit I'm I envy those people Although, I also remember sort of golden rule, like my favorite teacher, my favorite English teacher uh, once said, he said, do not ever envy people, do not ever uh, do not ever compare yourself to other people in any way, in any possible way. Like, don't compare yourself to other English learners, to other entrepreneurs or businessmen or I don't know, whatever. Just don't compare yourself. Be yourself. That's what he said. And. I actually kind of agree with it, with him, but you know what? I'm not completely agree with him in this meaning because because just imagine if you if you let's say. If you will not compare yourself to other people, how are you going to become better? Because if, if we will not compare ourselves to other people, so we can say in this case that we are just good enough, just right now. We don't have, have to do any improvement, we don't have to learn anything. Why? A.J. Hawk said that we shouldn't compare ourselves to other people, right? Oh crap! Is this is this good content? Is this good? I hope this is. It smells like fucking moldy grass here. I'm not sure if I will download this video on YouTube. Okay, so AJ Hawk said that we should not compare ourselves to other people. He's kinda right, but on the other hand, he's not. Because you know what? We need to improve we need improvement you need improvement and i need improvement so uh, oh i just remembered that he he also said that instead you have to compare yourself to yourself so you have to compare yourself now to yourself before i don't know i don't really like this idea I'm definitely getting better at English. I'm getting better. Now the only problem that I have that I just have no uh, possibility to uh, to speak like now, to speak to myself, 
to camera and that's why my speaking uh, is not actually improving uh, didn't actually improve since last time I had this possibility I mean since I was in Canada and also I have nobody to talk with here in English this is also a problem okay let's talk about something else I also wanted uh, to develop this conversation about language learning last time I mentioned Polish language and I said that I didn't actually learn it and I did not and I didn't learn it since then oh okay do I like Polish language uh, again I, I want to be honest I do not I do not like Polish language I don't know why maybe that's because it's it's too similar to my language but I love my language Ukrainian even Russian language I kind of love oh um, speaking about Polish language I just don't like it really or very much because uh, because just what I'm hearing when I when I'm hearing Polish language I hear it only on the streets or at my workplace when people talk to each other to me and sometimes we uh, discussing we're, di we're discussing not really interesting things uh, not something that I really passionate about you know what so it's kind of does not seem uh, does not seem what's the word inspirational for me but whenever I, I watch video in Polish language when somebody is talking about something that is interesting that is inspirational in this case yes I, I love Polish language you know what I love and I, I think this this that's this is what we can say about any other language every time we listening to something uh, to somebody who is talking about something interesting and when that person is uh, uses the kind of high level of language when it's good pronunciation when it has uh, like high intelligent vocabulary it's interesting and we always love it that's that's why I I would I would learn Polish but you know what for for this moment until this moment I just have no reason to learn it and I'm not going to and continuing continuing talking about language learning I would also want to talk about one language that I really would like to learn after English or maybe at the same time but in the future this is French French language I just love it I just love how does it sound and uh, yes I would love to learn it 
that maybe if I will go to Canada, I will try to to learn it like a little bit. Maybe, maybe I will try to find a special place where I could take French lessons for free. I'm pretty much sure that I uh, that there. Are have to be such possibilities it has to be such possibility because you know what they in Canada they just like people to learn French and they in many ways they uh, uh, what's the word they try to make this easier for people they encourage people to learn French and there is supposed to be possibility to learn French for free in Canada. That's what I'm going to do as well. Aside from, aside from my other goals. Okay, I'm just getting bored.